Hey what's up guys welcome back to another video and in today's video we're going to be customizing the Ballista Sugoi or Sugoi. I'm not sure how to say it that's probably completely wrong but you know I've not heard anyone really talk about it so I don't know how it's pronounced and yeah let's just get straight into the video. Now this car cost 1.2 million so it is pretty pricey for a Civic so let's be honest here it's double the price of the Ballista Kanjo which obviously I think is a lot better and um, yeah let's just check if this car is even worth it now we do know the Ballista Kanjo is definitely worth it there is one thing I do like about this car and it's the lights on it and these lights are pretty cool because they're like DRL lights and look at the reverse lights they're pretty cool as well so I want you guys to uh, put a comment down in the comment section if you think this is worth 1.2 million this I think is 1.22 million to be precise and yeah you got to think of it realistically it's um, a Civic so well, we're gonna go to LS Customs now and we don't need to go to LS Customs because because uh, we're doing this on a mod menu because in this server LS Customs doesn't really work Oop, and I've hit something luckily there's no damage and there's a Kanjo just randomly here uh, I think someone's left that there but we'll go over here where it's nice and quiet even though the whole garage is quiet <laughs> so let's get into the modifications uh, rear bumper now let's check the rear diffusers got a few simple mods oh I said simple <laughs> got quite a few aggressive ones oh we're going back to simple again um, that's pretty nice minus the rods I don't know why GTA has those rods on like every high-end modification we've got like some more canards and and um, a big diffuser and I forgot to mention how big the back is so if you look at the back here look how much it sticks out I don't know if the real Civic sticks out that much I'm pretty sure it does stick out quite a bit but not to this extent it looks like a stormtrooper here well, it's pretty unique um, and we've got that diffuser so I'm probably gonna go for this diffuser here, some carbon fiber. Let's try and get carbon fiber for the whole car. Oh, livery, red stripe. Hmm, pretty sure that's probably going to be red stripe for Type R. Oh, that's a really nice livery, actually. Yeah, that's a cool livery. Racer 23, Racer 29. So that's it. I'm not going to put a livery on this one. I'm going to make it just like a kind of modern tuner build. Uh, roof. I don't know what it is. Let me know if you guys think the same thing. But these modern kind of. Oh. These modern kind of uh, roof scoops to me look a bit out of place. They don't look right in my opinion I don't know I think oh yeah that looks really out of place for me yeah I don't think I'll be putting a roof scoop on this one front bumpers going straight with a wow and that's a car kind of through all the way underneath the lights don't think I've seen that before on a modification in GTA. Diffuser. I think that's um, just carbon fiber, which looks pretty cool. Actually, that looks really cool as well. And I don't know why my modification menu keeps uh, closing. Hmm. 
Hmm, I think we'll go for the carbon diffuser. Spoilers. Uh, fin. Race. I really want a back spoiler to be honest. The boot spoiler. Oh, and there's one which looks okay to be to be honest there. Um carbon arrows or the same thing but carbon we got an out of looking place spoiler there. I don't know, it just look that does not look right for me at the side angle. So I think I'm gonna go with the carbon the carbon arrow spoiler. Side skirts, carbon skirts. And I'm sorry if I am taking a bit too long on this. This is my first time modifying the car as well. It's just that, um, yeah, I'm a bit, I like to spend a bit more time looking at the modifications and just rushing past them. So if you do want to watch me at two times the speed, then that's all right as well. I guess I can get a bit boring as well. Um, carbon rally. Exhaust. Sorry for revving it, it's just... Oh. And I know why the modification menu closes, it's because I press X twice. I think I'm just going to stick with that. That does look a bit small. Uh, Alright, I'll go for that one. I'm pretty sure normally it's three exhausts, but we've got four exhausts here. Uh, fenders. Oh, um, it's not the fenders, it's the mirror. It just says fenders. So we've got black mirrors, carbon fiber mirrors, primary and carbon fiber. So that's half, I'm guessing. So I think we'll go for half half. Yeah, that looks all right. Um, we go hood, carbon hood. That looks pretty nice. There's a lot of carbon on this car. That's for sure. Rally hood, sports hood. Performance hood. I might go with the performance hood to be honest. Or the one with the hood latches as well. Yeah, performance hood with the hood latch. Grill, uh, stock. Oh, so it's the pot top trim part above the headlights. That's pretty cool. Rally grill. Ooh. Another really hard modification to uh, choose. I might just go for that one there, GT grill. Vehicle, um, and I think that's about it. You might have more modifications when it comes to the game itself. I don't know, this is normally pretty accurate, uh, but this does look like, if, you know, not as many as uh, I would have thought. Hmm. I would never go for these wheels normally. But for some reason, they look right on this car. You know, when they're blacked out and they're silver in the middle. It looks near, like, stock for the car or something. Let me change the colour. Um, paint options. Oh, I nearly forgot to lower the car. Oh, so we're going down ever so slightly. I hope that there's more than that when the car actually comes out. That's very 
That's really disappointing to be honest. Because we, all the other cards we got out can go quite low, but this can only go up to there. Paint. And we might go for something along the lines of yellow or so. yellow that doesn't look too bad to be honest and I think that's about it I think we've been through all the modifications <laughs> and that's a great way to end the video um, yeah let me know what you think about this car guys I'm gonna probably go back inside because it's a bit lighter to finish the video off let me know what you think. Again, 1.2 million. Um, yeah, I will probably end up buying this car anyway in game. But do I think it's worth it for 1.2 million? I don't think so. You know, unless this thing has a special trick up its sleeve, I don't think it's worth that much money. I will be buying it anyway in P on PS4. But um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll catch you in the next one.